hands, will you please get one with them? Come on, who is that? All right, let's go. Holland would never be what it is today if it goes for him. Listen, if we don't document and celebrate our history, our traditions, our customs, the things that made this neighborhood great, the things that made this neighborhood fantastic, the things that made this neighborhood historic. And one big part of that hey, is our basketball tradition. And we have the greatest, the greatest, and I do mean the greatest, not only basketball players, but human beings. And the fact that they are still here and giving back to our children. These gentlemen you see right here, nothing but give back to our community. And people from around the country to give back, no matter which background they were in, they had to come here to prove themselves. Dave Cowens, a lot of the big men, they came right here and they had to play in Harlem in order to prove themselves. All right? Top 50 in the Hall of Fame, did everything they had to do to prove they were a better basketball player. This gentleman right here made us do everything we needed to do to prove we were better people. And that's what's important. Like I said the other day, maybe I didn't get to the NBA. Maybe I never, maybe it wasn't meant for me to be on the Hall of Fame. But guess what? I was on World News to Peter Jennings as a global inspiration. And you know what? That says a lot. Because that's what I learned from gentlemen like him. You better let me tell you something. Don't be my congressman forever. Not next, forever. His lips to God's ears. <laughs> I love all you guys.